guys it's your girl may beauty back with another video and if you all are coming from my last video i know i said my hair may be done in this video and y'all just came in like girl it's not i know because everything that i'm doing in my room is taking much longer than i anticipated it to so let me just take me a break record this video for y'all so i can finish doing what i need to do for the rest of the night because i also got some other things to do so in this story time we do have receipts and I will be showing them to you all and I will be of course looking at my phone making sure I'm staying on track with the receipt. So let's give this brand ambassador a name and her name is going to be I'm giving her a new name I don't remember I think I called her bonnie in the last video because if y'all remember my last story time when i talked about my um birthday party and how it just went sideways for me this is the same female from that story time um so i think i named her bonnie in that story time i don't remember but her name's gonna be bonnie in here let's backtrack a little bit so me and bonnie met through social media um we met on instagram um, she's an artist. She does music and things like that. And she's good. She's a good singer, has a nice voice and everything. I'm going to never knock that from somebody if we're not cool. You got talent, you got talent. So she really does have talent. And I'm a model. We've always liked each other's pictures here and there. You know, gave each other compliments here and there. But really never really had a full-on conversation with each other. And... I also have to give you guys a backstory about me, but we'll get more into that into another video later. If you guys would like to know more, comment down below. So, um, I'm very in tune with me personally, with my spirituality, with my relationship with God and everything like that. I'm very in tune with that. And a lot of times, like, energies speak louder to me than a person. So, I can feel somebody that's off and I can offer them prayer, advice, someone to talk to, someone to vent to, whatever. Or sometimes God will place somebody in my heart or in my mind and I'll immediately pray for them. Or if I'm right there with them, then I will speak to them, talk to them, get to know them. So we ended up um, having a conversation one night. I had posted a reel on my Instagram to one of her songs and she reshared it she commented on it and everything and then she ended up dm me, dming me letting me know that hey girl i was on the verge of giving up on everything i was on the verge of quitting like i pretty much lost motivation for music and everything that i want to do with my art but you sharing your video using my song is what gave me that momentum to keep pushing. And I'm like, because we all got to out here. Like, we all need somebody that does support us. We all need somebody that genuinely likes what we got going on. Genuinely is rooting for us behind closed doors. And at the end of the day, even though me and her are not cool no more, I'm still rooting for her with whatever she has going on. I have no bad blood, no ill will towards no one. Further on down the line, you know, she was dealing with some stuff so we would have our moments we would talk we would really get to know each other like she would tell me deep deep down what's going on with her what's wrong with her what she's feeling like what she's going through i will offer advice and prayer and vice versa so as things went on you know she was also telling me that with my business i should do more it shouldn't just be me on my page all the time i should get brand ambassadors and things like that and i was working on getting brand ambassadors i've been open for a year and a half now and when i had first opened i wasn't really sure about getting brand ambassadors because a lot of people out here don't have good intentions for you and a lot of people out here just want free stuff or just to be like oh yeah i'm a brand ambassador for somebody just just because they don't really want to pay full price for clothing and it's just like yeah i'm eventually get to that but i want people that genuinely wants to support my business and i'm also looking for customers right now like i'm trying to push myself out there tell my story express what my brand has to offer and things like that i'm not just focused on people getting free I now that's a different story yes i do have some brand ambassadors but that ugh, that don't matter so of course she did offer to be a brand ambassador for me and i'm just like sure that's cool like you know i'm too nice sometimes but yeah i'm like sure that's cool no problem whatever so it was her birthday and when she came to my house she picked out items that she wanted to take with her for her birthday free of charge 
free of charge no issues no problem none whatsoever and i wasn't tripping because some of the items that she took as well it's on sale and i'm letting them go not bringing them back it's, it wasn't a problem to me i'm just like okay cool just advertise put it out there no problem so she had her items and like her and my other brand ambassadors i would have my moments where i would text everyone either in a group chat or separately and be like hey you got this outfit can you make some content in this outfit whether it's a real tiktok or picture post it send it my way so you know i can promote y'all i could put that out there i also have content for my business page y'all have content for yourselves and y'all will be doing your job as a brand ambassador like sometimes i feel like i shouldn't ask you to do certain things because it was written and said before you agreed to the statement but i also don't have an issue because sometimes i like to plan my own photo shoots with my brand ambassadors and plan times for all of us to link up chill vibe whatever the case may be i want to do more and i want it to be more like a family not just oh you work for me so as things went on i noticed that our friendship was getting a little mm, rocky but I wasn't really making a big deal. I'm just like, mm, okay, but I'm still going to be cool. I'll keep my distance if I have to and protect my peace when I have to. But it really ain't no beef. But the energy coming from her was very, 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 very standoffish, weird, and just, ugh. So, there's been times where we've talked and when she was looking for a job, trying to get a job, I'm just like, hey, girl, you know, if you ever need somebody to watch your kids while you're at work and I'm free, just call me and let me know. Like, if I'm available, I'll watch your kids for you so you don't have to have a hassle. Like, I'm that type of friend. I'm that type of sister. I'm that type of girlfriend. I'm that type of cousin. Whatever. I'm just available. So, she never had an issue with me doing that. No, it never got to the point where I did watch her kids um, alone, but she's never had a problem. So, then, one day I texted her, and with the conversation we was having, she ends up letting me know, and this is where my receipts will come in, y'all. Let me look into the camera, because I have a problem looking at myself. But this is where the receipts are coming in. For one, I hope the little backstory helps y'all gain some understanding of a little bit of understanding of our friendship and how she became a brand ambassador and whatever, whatever. Because I'm not going that deep into details. Like, I'm about to tell the story, release it, let it go. Because I'm not even as mad or as pissed off as, about it as I once was. So I feel like my response and my reaction in this video is going to be very different. Because I've had time to cool, think about it, and not even trip no more. Like, what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours, and that's that. So, she ends up texting me saying that I'm a little worried about who will watch the kids on the weekends, but I'm going to try to thug this out because I haven't been able to work since 2017, and these fathers are no help. I have no one to depend on but myself. Sorry, y'all. If y'all saw me do a little side eye, I'm not going to get into her business of what she got going on with her kids fathers and things like that because that ain't my business to tell and that's honestly none of my business but anyways <laughs> so once she said that like the the um background of course before that conversation we both did have an interview at this store she ended up getting the job i ended up getting a job elsewhere but she ended up getting the job and majority of the time that she will be working is on the weekends and she was just pretty much saying how she needs to find somebody that she can trust or daycare or something that can watch them on the weekends whatever the case may be if you know who suck aren't available so then that's when i respond to her and this is all the way back in september of last year so boom I then respond to her and I go, I told you, I told you, you got me on the weekends, especially if I'm free. Keep in mind, I said, especially if I'm free, because I know with my modeling and everything else that I got going on, I can get busy. I can get busy. But if you let me know something ahead of time and we have a conversation ahead of time and you... Like, you know, I already know what I need to be doing. I'm not going to plan something or book a gig 
when I know I gotta go watch somebody's kids or anything like that, I'm not gonna do that. That's not me. I try to make sure I'm organized. I try to make sure my calendar stays on point and everything like that. So then, that's when she responds to me after that and says, no shade, but you kind of iffy. I'd rather not depend on you if it's not for certain. I'm going to become sensitive. That's when I just responded, okay. Because it's just like, I understand what you mean by that, but at the end of the day, if I'm telling you, hit me up, and especially if I'm free, I'm available, what are you saying that I'm iffy for? What are you saying that you're going to get sensitive for if you're letting me know something ahead of time and I make sure that I'm available ahead of time? If you're hitting me up last minute and I already have stuff going on and, you're, and she's done this plenty of times before. Let me explain why I understand why she said I was iffy. But that's her issue, not mine. There's been times where she would try to make plans with me to go out or just hang out or just chill. And I'm already booked for a gig i'm already booked for something or i done already had plans made with someone else or had plans made with my man she'll hit me up last minute trying to do something right then and there and i'll let her know like look sis like i'm busy today so it's not possible for us to do it today let's do something another day let's pick another day to do it let's see when we're both free so for her to have gotten sensitive over that time and we were only friends for literally like a month it kind of threw me off a little bit and then also for you to just say that i'm iffy when i'm letting you know hey you can't keep trying to schedule with me last minute because i have things that i got going on with my life as well like let's be adults and make proper plans for each other because you have things going on as well like let's keep in mind that I should make this two stories into one. Or well, probably another story by the time she's going to do my hair. But let's keep in mind, there's been plenty of times where she was inconsiderate of what I had going on. Like, I have locks, if you guys don't know. Because I don't think I've showed them on my channel yet. But I have locks. And since I've been locking my hair, she's always said, like... And I know, I'm throwing another story in here. So keep, keep remembering what I just said. Because I'm going to get back into the receipts. But this is just another background story so there's been times where she's constantly been like hey girl you know i know how to retwist locks yada 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 and i'll do yours for free i'll do yours for free and you know you don't even gotta pay me and even if she did ever do my locks i'm not the type of person that's gonna like my friend said it's for free so i'm just no i would have ended up sliding her something anyways but she was just like telling me how she can do my locks for free or if i need my locks to be twisted hit her up so i hit her up a few times and it was one time i don't remember the exact day it was but it was a time that i hit her up to come do my locks and i asked her to do it in the morning because i had other things to do later on that day and i asked her if she was available i hit her up beforehand i didn't hit her up the day of like boom i hit her up like two days before she lets me know that she's available She's just like, yeah, if I could find these receipts, I'm going to put them in here too. But yeah, she lets me know that she's available. She's like, yeah, she'll be able to do it, yada, yada, yada. Then when the day comes and I'm like, hey, girl, what time are you coming? She's just like, I don't know. I'm out doing stuff for my child's daycare and they got me doing all this running around and da, 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 da. And I'm just like, okay, but I told you I had things to do later on today and we didn't already discuss this ahead of time okay whatever so then she's just like well i can do it another day if you're not available i'll let you know when i'm done with this because da, 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 da. i went i went about my day i ended up throwing on a wig that day and i went to go run my errands and do everything that i had to do by the time she hit me up it was like one two o'clock in the afternoon and she's like hey girl you free no i told you i had to do things you didn't take in consideration of what i had going on and you expected for me to wait around for you all day. And I didn't and I wasn't going to. So then she was just like, boom, let me do your hair this day. And it was another two more days. And I'm just like, okay, you can. But keep in mind, I have a photo shoot at 1.30. So if you're going to come retwist my hair, you will need to do it in the morning. That day comes, who's not available in the morning to do my hair? And then she's just like, I can't come right now. I'm doing something. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, look, 
if you can't come today it's fine i have a photo shoot at 1 30 i won't be here because i'll be leaving my house around 12 o'clock to get to where i gotta go it's cool i ended up retwisting my own hair i ended up watching a youtube tutorial i ended up doing all that and i ended up being good and that's when I'm like, in all honesty, you're the iffy one trying to project your characteristics on me. I don't got time for that. But she never took consideration as to what I had going on. And we had two incidents where that happened. Did I trip? Did I call her iffy? Did I call her or make her feel any type of way? No. I just let her know, like, sis is cool. You don't need to do my hair. I got myself. I ain't tripping. So for her to come and call me iffy, when I always take people into consideration and what they got going on throughout day days and everything like that and i'll never hit up people the day of and right then and there to do something for me you want to call me iffy you got one time one time only so that's when i took it upon myself to continue to keep a business relationship with her because she was still my brand ambassador at the end of the day she was still making content she was still doing what she had to do that don't mean we got to be buddy buddy friend wise you already letting me know that you feel this some type of way and with you starting off your sentence with no shade but you kind of iffy all shade was intended sis and it's cool it's cool i know when to back up to protect my peace and my energy but i still had no problems with her no beef no nothing you felt how you felt that was that i kept a business relationship with her so after that i texted her good morning because this is the next day i texted her good morning whenever you get a chance i need photos of you and the outfits you have for content and promo because i was beginning to do a end of season sale because summer was ending and we was about to go into fall and all that so i'm like i'm trying to do an end of season sale i want all my brand ambassadors to have their looks and everything together and i'll use y'all to promote everything instead of just my face she responds back good morning okay and are you home oh so i do got the receipts with the hair i do got the receipts with the hair because it's right here and i didn't even know that i did but it's right here that's when she goes good morning okay and are you home this is where she's implying to try to come to my house now to do my hair after you already didn't take into consideration that i had a photo shoot you missed two days i'm good i didn't already did my hair. so i tell her no i'm not home it's okay about my hair she responds, so you don't want it done. I respond, no, I don't need it done anymore. Then after that, that's when I spoke because um, still me being the nice person that I am, there was a, my cousin was having a fashion show. She was collaborating with someone and that not only were they looking for models, but they were looking for artists as well. So I let her know about this, sent her the flyer, everything. And that's when I texted her, this is now Friday. Because after I said, no, I don't need it done anymore, ain't no more messages. Why am I telling y'all all that when y'all about to see the receipts? <sighs> Anyways, so that's when I respond to her on Friday and I say, hey, so I spoke with the director of the fashion show that I sent you the flyer for. And she said you should show up and audition if you are still interested in performing at the show. Good luck on your audition. Also, when do you think you will be able to make more content in the distinctive pieces that you have? Because after that first couple of content that she sent me or that I also made with her on her birthday, I wasn't getting no more. So that's when I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you're one of the main brand ambassadors that has a lot of items from me. Sis, promote, please. Like, please promote. Like, my business is my baby. And I'm really trying to put it out there. I'm really trying to showcase me my brand my fashion everything like sis you said you want to help me out help me out like we're still cool no problem no none of that <sighs> she ends up reading into the message too much she responds that was real dry but hey girl either sunday or during the week sometime i can make some i have been a little busy far as the audition what time is it because i have something to do tomorrow and i won't be free until about six i won't have my kids then other than that are you okay so 
with this audition i let her know months in advance about the audition because i was gonna go audition i didn't audition because the director just like gave me mm, vibes and so i was just like i'm good i don't need that on my resume as a model but for her, I'm like, sis, you've been really trying to get yourself out there. You've really been trying to get your music out there. You're really trying to get more noticed than what you are. So take take this advantage, like, for real. So for you to now, when it's coming up, to be like, oh, I got stuff to do, da, da, da. It's just like, are you really taking your music as serious as you say you are? And I don't, I don't know why she just kept asking me if I was okay. Like, my thing is, did you feel within your spirit that, you said something wrong. You said something to throw off our friendship. And now you're realizing it. But instead of you being like, hey, I noticed that I said you were iffy and we really haven't been talking like that. What's up? Like, okay. I also could have said that too, but I'm, I'm just the type that, no, I you don't deserve an explanation from me. It is what it is. And if I'm keeping it cool and cordial with you, it ain't that deep. Because <laughs> I don't be for no one. I either cut you off or keep it cool, calm, collected. So, dang, I didn't get that screenshot, so I don't even know if I have. Oh, yeah, I do have what I said. So, then that's when I responded. The audition is from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Yes, I'm good. Now, that was, um, what, Friday? Now, we're at Sunday, September 12th. I made, excuse me, I made a story. On my Instagram, that had nothing to do with her. Somebody, it was a photographer I worked with. And if you all would like a story time on this, comment down below and I will make a story time for you all. But there was a photographer that I worked with that really rubbed me the wrong way. And I never got my photos. And then that's when he started to try to go on me. Like, I just wanted to see my photos. It didn't have to be edited. It could have been the walls. I just wanted to see my photos, see what was going on, see which ones I would like to pick or which one we was going to pick on our collaborations and everything. And it was just the way that he was coming at me. I'm not giving y'all full details because if y'all want the full story time, comment down below and I'll make a whole nother video. But he was being rude. He was being disrespectful. And he called me on my name. He also said something about me. So on my story, I go... You have one time and one time only to rub me the wrong way. Tell me how you feel about me for me not to work with you or speak to you ever again. You have one time to let me know how you honestly and truly feel. And that's that for me. Simple. And I was just venting on my story because I have my moments when I do that. I make public service announcements, announcements whatever the case may be. And that had nothing to do with her at all. Mind you, I posted that in my close friends. That's why I give most of my tea in my close friends to those who really know me and want to know the tea right then and there. So, sis, why would I be talking about you? Like, I was not talking about her at all, but she put on that shoe. She was boo-boo the fool who put on the shoe that ain't fit. But then again, I'm also feeling like, did you feel some type of way or did you know that what you texted me and how you said it and the way that you said it was wrong? You knew you was wrong. And you're just going to take all these subliminals that ain't for you because you know what you said and what you did was wrong and overstepping. Like, because I'm not iffy. I was never that. No, none of that. <laughs> Stop playing with me. That's the last thing. That's the that's the furthest thing from who I am and what I am. Anybody can tell you. So, I guess she saw that story, right, y'all? So, keep in mind, she saw that story. And she supposed to say this out of her own mouth. She texts me. What's the total for the clothes? What's the total for the clothes I have? Or I can give you back what I didn't open and pay for the ones I did open. I don't turn no offers down whatsoever. No, I do not. You say you want to give my clothes back. You say you want to pay me for stuff. Cool. Cool. We can do that. That's when I responded, okay, what is all that you open? 
do what is all that you open so i can calculate it for you and you can bring me back the ones you didn't open i am being professional i'm being cordial i'm keeping it cool because i already knew that for her to text me that she see my story and got her feelings i already knew that even though i had nothing to do with her so keep in mind, she chose to come out her mouth saying that she would pay me for my items and bring me back my items that she didn't open. She goes, I opened the purple set, the move set, the butterfly set, and the set she let the set I let her wear for her birthday in the orange dress. She did in the orange dress. She didn't wear it, but she'll still pay for it. The orange dress is my zodiac dress, but she liked that one. So then that's when I said, I responded back to her. I said, what purple set? Or did you mean the purple dress? That's when she puts the emphasis on it. And that's when I respond back to her on Monday. After I calculated everything. This is in the morning. I responded back to her and I said, the items for the Zodiac dress, purple ocean dress, tie-dye rumper. He gives me butterflies rumper in the move set. I gave her the total and the total was... $113.76. With her brand ambassador discount, it ended up being $56.88. I honestly should have charged her full price. But me being nice and me still being the businesswoman that I am, I'm just like, evidently you're still trying to do some content. You just want to give me the stuff that you ain't open. So, boom. I tell her you can cash at me. Or Apple Pay Me. I think I said Apple Pay Me. I knew that. I'm not sure. But I know for sure I told her you, you can cash at me. She said, I need some time to gather the money. It will be soon. I said, okay, if you have time today or tomorrow, you can drop off the items you didn't open. Simple. Just drop off the stuff. Pay me when you can. Like, and still, here, I'm being understanding and nice because I understand, like, a lot of times, everybody got money problems everybody money management ain't where it need to be and everybody's funds ain't where they need to be right then and there so i understand i understand that in our adult lives we all have things going on where we may not be able to make a few stops that we want to make and that's not a problem <sighs> like i'm giving her chances i'm still being nice i'm still being cordial i'm still keeping our business relationship and even though it was it, it was just a business relationship now like as a individual who's still a nice person i was still looking at her as a friend and we're still having conversations with no issue no problem no nothing so uh like the way that she handled everything really just like uh like uh what is wrong with you what is wrong with you? Y'all can let me know if I did too much in the comment section down below. Y'all can also let me know if I was wrong. Or y'all can let me know that if I should have charged a full price. Y'all can let me know whatever y'all want to let me know. Give me constructive criticism. Let me know if I made a mistake in this. Because at this point, I really don't see what I did. So then she, go, she responds, they are safe, but I need to make money for gas first. I'm not in the best money position right now. I respond, okay just let me know when you're able to drop them off she says okay no problem and this was on the 13th all right days go by seven days go by it's the 20th i hit her up and say good morning do you know when you will have the money and when you'll be able to drop off what you aren't keeping i'm having an end of season sale in two days and i want to be able i want to be stocked up beforehand if you don't have any content to share or post to promote this sale that is fine i would just like a date on when i will have my money and will you be able to drop everything off because at this time, now we're no longer communicating. After the 13th, we ain't had no conversations in, be in between that. We ain't, we not communicating with each other. So now it's just me reaching out to her to saying, if you're going to stand on your word, ma'am, sir. Then after that, she goes, around the first of the month works best for me. Girl, you DoorDash or Uber Eats, whichever one it is. And you got a job. I know you got hired because we applied to the same place at the same time on your birthday. You had your interview right then and there. I had my partial interview right then and there. I know you're working. I know you're getting money. I know you're dashing and all that. And I know you're making money. 
I know all your money sits on your cash app. For the little short period of time that we was friends, she told me a lot of her business. So I'm sitting here like, sis. Sorry, y'all. Y'all see me looking funny. Like, my lash just looked in like it was doing something real weird for a minute. But anyway. <laughs> so then that's when I respond. Okay. Can you drop off the clothes this weekend? Or I can come pick them up. Meaning, you can send me your address. I can pull up to your house. You can give me my items and go. Mind my business. So you drop off the items and go mind your business. And go wait till the first to give me my, my money. But at the, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get back the items that you're not trying to pay for. Or else I can I could have been charged you or I can charge you for the items that you don't want to pay for. And you will pay for it and you can keep them. She responds, sure, I can do that, no problem. I say, okay, I'll see you Saturday. Friday, September 24th. I respond, she hasn't said nothing to me. I say, when do you think you will have the funds? She says, hello, remember I said I would have it around the first. That's when I would have my money right now. I don't. Also, I work tomorrow, so I'll bring the clothes. <clears throat> Let me repeat this. Also, I work tomorrow, so I will bring the clothes when I get off. It will be in the evening. What's your cash app? Never mind. I see it. Where did you get all this money from out of nowhere if you're if you talking about something you ain't gonna have it to the first? When all of a sudden did you have my funds to pay me that you could have clearly been had paid me but you wasn't trying to? After that, I say, okay, around what time so I can make sure I'm home? She didn't respond. Next day, Saturday, I said, good morning, you called. She said, accident. The money didn't come through, and she sent me a screenshot. Of course, y'all gonna see the receipts of her sending me the money. I thought she was gonna have the money to the first. I asked you to run me my clothes that you wasn't planning on paying for it, and that you didn't want to keep. Mind you, you said all of this out of your mouth. I didn't have any problem with you. I still kept the business relationship with you. Could have kept all your clothes. You didn't have to pay for nothing. You just had to make your pictures, take your pictures, and make your content. That's all you had to do. You got in your feelings, you put on a shoe that wasn't for you, squeezed your little foot up in there, then decided to go out the side of your neck to text me and tell me, hey, hey, I just want to tell you, I can pay for the clothes that I opened and give you the stuff that I said. You said this out of your mouth, and then I didn't come at you like that. Even though I asked you for the funds, I know I may have forgot that she said she was going to send it to me in the first because I, I know for sure, for sure I did. That's why I ended up texting her and asking her when she had the money because clearly I forgot. But I'm still sorry, y'all, because I'm still stuck on. She said it twice. I ain't going to have the funds till the first. Twice. How in the same sense did you got the funds? What you do? After that, I tell her, thank you. I just got it. She says, you're welcome. Now it's Monday, September 27th. Mind you, that Saturday, she was supposed to drop off the clothes because the job that she was working at is not that far from my house. But I had things to do that day. And so that's why I said, hit me up. Make sure I'm in the house. So if you're going to come, come. You ain't want to run me your address. Why? You scared? Why you ain't, I wasn't going to do nothing. But come get, get my clothes. So why you ain't run me your address? So then that's when on Monday... September 27th, I respond to her. And this time, I'm I'm fed up. I'm annoyed and I'm frustrated because, yeah, you paid me for items, but technically now you're stealing from me because what you wanted to bring back, you're not trying to bring back. You're holding them hostage and I need my babies. So I tell her, bring the items that you are not keeping on Wednesday. Thank you. If you would like to pay for those as well, I can add them up for you. She left me on read. She read my message and didn't respond. And all you gotta do is press a couple buttons and I'll slowly, slowly, slowly show you that side that I be keeping hidden because she don't need to come out all the time. I need to stop looking at myself. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just real cute. But, yeah, like, sis, what are you doing? That's when she didn't respond. She left me a red, so I wrote her the next day. Like I said, y'all can comment down in the comment section below if I was being unprofessional or pushy or whatever the case may be. Let me know.
because I don't feel like a lesbian. And <laughs> that's my response to her. I will take being left on red as no response. Yo, y'all, and I'm not reading these messages. Clearly, when I'm mad, I don't know how to write or spell because some of my sentences don't be making sense. But I'm gonna read them how they were supposed to be wrote into wrote in. I'm gonna read them how they were supposed to be written to y'all. Like, where's my head? I need to wash my face a little bit. <laughs> so then I tell her, I will be taking that, I will take being left on red as no response, as in you would like to pay for the following products, and I will send you an invoice later on today. Sweetie, sweetie, you were supposed to drop off my stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all this. She was supposed to drop off my stuff Saturday. I gave her till Wednesday. She had all ample chances from the minute she said she wanted to bring my clothes back. She had all them days to bring me my stuff. She let me go back. When did she say she'll bring me give me my stuff back? Alright, so September twelfth is when she told me she'll bring me my stuff back. And it took for me to send her that message that I sent her September 28th. So, sweetheart, you had 16 whole days to run me my stuff with no issues, no problems, no nothing. You didn't work. I don't know if she still works there to this day, but you didn't work that far from my house. That job was closer to me than it was to you. So if you're in my area 24-7 or whatever days you have to go to work and your this stuff is so-called in your car, in the trunk, why you couldn't just drop it off or why you couldn't send me your address for me to pick it up and it would have been done deal. It would have been, that's it. But you made this hard. So now this is her response. That had me cackle. Best believe I told my cousin this. Let her read. I screenshotted everything. Let her read everything. And I'm like, sis, look at this mess. Look at this and look at this. So she responds, baby, relax. You're very rude and aggressive. And I don't have time for your shit. For one, that's not how you do business by giving someone clothes. Luckily, I'm not like others that would say F you and them cheap clothes. Now my clothes are cheap all of a sudden. But she was just raving about, oh. You're only 24, about to be 20. Well, I'm 25 now, but this is what she met me when I was 24. She was like, oh, you're only 24. And you're already on your path, and you know what you want to do with your life. And I'm 27, still trying to figure it out. I want to be more like you. Like, oh, my gosh. Your clothes are so cute. Your clothes are so nice. And, and you're selling them for this much. Like, you you was not saying that when you wasn't in your feelings. So now that you're in your feelings, don't try to pump fake. Don't, don't fake. Don't fake, because you was not saying all that. Or is that how you was really feeling? And you was just trying to fake be my friend. To... <clears throat> Devil in the skies. <laughs> Keep them demons away from me. Don't need the negativity. Mm -mm. So, and then the whole thing with the whole, that's not how you run your business. You don't get somebody clothes. Little... First of all, I never asked for my stuff back. I didn't ask you to pay for anything. I didn't ask you for all that. You started this. You said this. Out of your own mouth. You bothered me and texted me that mess. And I held you to your word. I didn't turn you down on none of that. I said, yes, you can. And you shall. And you will. And that's what you want to do, then do it. So what are you... Well, how are you now upset that I'm hassling you down for the stuff that you said you was going to give me? You already done paid me. Cool. You didn't pay me for a price. You got a discount. And on top of that, you had 16 days to drop off my stuff and you didn't. You also had the opportunity to give me your address for me to go pick it up. And you didn't. So I'm still confused on how are you upset now? Like, you done, I, my season sale didn't pass through. I wasn't able to. Um, recount everything that i did have and now right now you have free items and you're probably walking around like it's yours you're probably walking around not even promoting that it came from me and my shop like oh so into this little paragraph of hers because i think this is when she got blocked she said you're starting to piss me off 
you have no consideration. This is when I wanted to really see her and smack her. Because how you going to say I don't have no consideration for what you got going on? I don't care what you got going on. You're not letting me know nothing besides uh, the simple fact that you can't keep your money together and you're broke. That's all you're telling me. And constantly complaining to me about baby father number one, two, and three. Constantly giving me negative vibes. Constantly just telling me, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do that. That's that's your problem. That has nothing to do with me. And you also offered, once again, I'm going to keep emphasizing that you offered to bring me my items back and pay for them. Out of your own mouth because you felt the way. So you telling me I have no, and then keep in mind, both times you were supposed to do my hair when I had something to do and you wanted me to pretty much wait in the house all day for you without giving me a time but telling me that you're going to come at like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, the whole tea you're trying to come later on in the afternoon when I have stuff to do and I'm letting you know how you didn't have consideration for what I had going on at all whatsoever. And then come on now, I worked with you because if I didn't have no consideration the day that you said that you would bring me everything back and run me my money, I said, I would have told you, no, do it now. If I ain't had no consideration for the fact that she was broke, I would never give you that discount. Girl, bye. So then, yeah, she's just like, you have no consideration of what may be happening on my end, don't care. And you're mad because I called you iffy and you called yourself being slick on IG. You could have been direct, saved the attitude, leave me alone, and you will get them when you get them. And she sent me kissy face with peace sign. No, sweetie. If you was in your feelings the whole entire time over a video that had nothing to do with you, you can said that. I've been read that through the text messages and I've been knew that's what it was because of what you said and how you said it. And when you texted me that you would be giving my stuff back. That's your problem, not mine. You got in your feelings. I didn't. You told me that I was iffy, so what? That didn't bother me that bad. It, this what it did. This what your iffy did. No shade, you're iffy. And I plucked it. Like, okay, whatever. You feel how you feel. I really don't care. But my video had nothing to do with her. And she took it as if it did. Sweetie. It didn't. If I was talking about you, I would have removed you from my close friends. You would have never been able to see it. Also, if I was talking about you or really had that problem with you, I would have told you to your face up to call you. We would have had this conversation. And I would have never kept a business deal with you. I still would have never kept it cordial with you. And I would have had, still had conversations with you on a daily. Like, shut up. It's sounding dumb. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, it's starting to piss me off again reading these messages. But she, she, sounded, she just sounded so, so dumb to me. Like, you all, at the end of the day, you started all this. Yeah, you told me that I was iffy, but I really didn't care. You noticed that I fell back a little bit and I wasn't as up in your face and girl, hey, all, all day, every day because I was now like, okay, you feel like I'm iffy. Well, cool, that's whatever. Let me continue to focus on what I got going on and mind my business. But keep a business relationship all like I kept her in the loop. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm doing a lot of moving around this video, trying to stay comfortable while I'm sitting on the floor. But y'all, my family. <laughs> We having a moment. I'm venting to y'all. Let y'all know what she did to me. And how I should have ran up. And now. It's like, no. <laughs> but again, like, it was just really annoying. Because how you gonna come at me like that? Because you sh you had 16 days to bring my stuff. And you didn't bring my stuff. Still to this day, I don't have my stuff, y'all. No. More of the story. I don't have my stuff. She kept it. <laughs> and it took you forever and a day to pay me. But you acted like you didn't have the money when you had the money. And. Hmm. Now all of a sudden my clothes are cheap. You was clearly holding a lot of stuff in. <laughs> like, I, if I wanted to, I can air her out. If I wanted to. If I wanted to, I can go on her and her situation. But that's not my problem. All I do is just, like, you got your own problems. We all have our own problems and stuff that we're going through and dealing with. We all got to pray about it. We all got to we saw it out but <laughs> the way you're handling and carrying yourself ill so that's when i said i responded to her i told you to come saturday and you didn't 
you also offer to give them back not being rude or aggressive just letting you know what it is keep it at this point i'm not on your time it is what it is do not bring them back or show your face around my house thank you and god bless this could have been avoided if you responded yesterday goodbye and i blocked her simple as that next thing i know she blocked me on everything on the, all my social medias and all that but i really don't care and that's that on how everything went because at the end of the day i had no problem with her this all stemmed from her calling me iffy and then her getting her feelings that she called me iffy and then feeling like i was that deep in my feelings and talking about her i don't have to slick talk nobody like the only time i like don't let it be known who I'm talking about is if I'm recording, of course, a story time for YouTube to protect people's identities. Y'all don't need to go looking out for people or trying to figure out who they are and whatever case may be. I may not have that many subscribers right now, but I know as things grow, as things build, and as people watch my stuff, it, it can happen like that. And it's not that deep for y'all to know who these people are. Also, when it comes to my Instagram, my Instagram is also a business platform for other photographers, models, and everything. But just because one photographer may have reacted or responded with me a certain way does not mean that everybody else has that experience. So, no, I don't just blast and blow up people's businesses like that. So, when I said what I had to say about that photographer, I said it. And whichever models who hit me up later on that day that wanted to know what photographer I was talking about so they can be on their P's and Q's when working with him, I let them know separately. So once again, this is not my problem. That she put on a shoe that had nothing to do with her, didn't fit her. I'm pretty sure only her big toe was able to go in it or she was probably swimming in them boots. But she put it on, got at her feelings and then did all this. Like in all honesty, Y'all, please tell me if I was wrong or if I did anything wrong. Because I feel like... Hi, I'm at nose edge on here. But I feel like I handled it the way that I needed it to. And mm, I don't know. Like, it, just reading this all over again, yes, it blew me. Yes, a lot of things could have been avoided. And that's that on that. And no, I don't care that she kept the items or the clothes. It's not that deep. I got money. I got a lot more inventory. I'm actually doing a sale now. If y'all want to um, take part in that sale, I'm temporarily closing my business because I want to do some rebranding. I want to do a lot of new things, and I have a couple new collections coming that I want to debut. I just want to. I do. I want to make some changes right now, and I don't want to keep her open, open as I'm trying to go through these changes. And the people be going to my website, like where your website at? And I'm just like. I'm changing it. I'm sorry. It's not open right So I'm doing a sale. Everything must go sale. All items 30% off. Nothing is excluded. So if you would like to check it out, go in the description box down below. Click that link. Shop distinctiveboutique.com. And boom. But yeah, that's that on that story. My brand ambassador from hell. AKA friend from hell. AKA I'm done with her. Like. I wish you the best. God bless you. I hope your music and everything you got going on is prospering. I hope you done found you so yourself some love or you and that knucklehead boy done figured it out and he's loving you now, whatever the case may be. But I wish you the best. It was never that deep. Yeah, got you some free items. If you wanted some free clothes because you couldn't afford them, just say that. And yeah, like... I'm done. I know there's a couple of people that's probably going to watch this video, but like, dang, girl, like, about time. We've been waiting for you to uh, give us the story time since you said something about it. Especially Cam. Hey, Cam, girl. That's my twin. If you watching this, I'm sorry. This story time long overdue, but it's here. <laughs> Y'all going to see Cam on my channel pretty soon, too, as well, because me and Cam about to collab and do some videos. If Y'all see Cam came on can y'all better subscribe to her channel too but yes yeah, so thank you guys for sitting in my closet with me and enjoying this story time thank you guys for dealing with me today like i know y'all just like girl at the end of the day your hair was supposed to be done and you could have did it but i didn't don't forget to shop bwb boutique and get you some lashes by nana because these are cute and I'm done chatting y'all up now. So I'm about to finish cleaning this room. Not even this room. I'm about to finish this closet. 
go wash this makeup off my face probably took some pictures so i know i'm gonna need some th thumbnails but to my tribe be blessed y'all have y'all a good night don't forget to bless and pray to god and tell him thank you for helping me survive throughout the day because i tell him that for y'all so matter of fact y'all this is so random but let's end this video with a prayer because we have put a lot of negative energy out there and we have you know our emotions was like this with the story time so lord god i thank you for bringing us all here safely i thank you for carrying us through the week safely lord god for all those who have survived and made it home safe that is a real accomplishment thank you god excuse me thank you lord for keeping us all safe thank you lord for watching over protecting and guiding us throughout our days lord god for my tribe my beauties and my beasts continue to watch over them continue to keep them protected and continue to bless them in all their glory continue to help them on their path and on their journey of healing of growth of change whatever they're going through lord god give them the energy give them the love Give them the hold that they need, Lord God. I ask that you invite yourself into everyone's house. I ask that you spread your glory. I ask that they feel you and know that you're there and know that they're not alone and that they are loved, they are heard, and everything like that. Lord God, please bless the second guy, my family, and my friends, and keep us all protected. Lord God, I pray that we all make it to see tomorrow morning and days after that. Lord God, for any of my subscribers or tribe members that are going through any type of grieving of any situation lord god i just ask that you grant them healing and understanding throughout it all lord god we love you in jesus name we pray amen love you babies bye y'all have a good night i'm just a wake up you know